welcome back. My name is Sensei Pong, and this is Sai Hai, an interactive fiction novel thing, blah, dude la dee da, that I'm hoping you're enjoying. Either way, we've finally come up to this part in the play where we're kind of deciding what kind of position are we, do we want to, like, audition for? Do we want the stage manager who has the big, the most lines? Well, okay, if anybody knows drama, stage managers are, you know, um, blah 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 they're actually a tech position but in this play there is a role called called the stage manager where they're the narrator essentially so and the narrator is the biggest role in that in that play but or do we want to go for a smaller role and not have to worry about being on stage all the time while we're trying to mess with funiculum or do we want to be on the techie crew and be a techie and kind of position ourselves a little bit easier and not be on stage and in between work we can possibly mess with the funiculum the bubble um, I think I'm going to go for, well, hmm, crikey, now I can't decide. I thought I had this decision made up. Give me a moment. I think I'm going to roll the dice on this one. Alright, so after rolling ten dice at the same time in this complicated, like, number sequence, I finally decided that I'm going to go with the smaller roll, the constable. The constable is about right. Yeah. Why? I don't think I can get a larger role. Or, I'm too busy to take on such a big responsibility. Or, I could get a big role if I tried, but I want to play it safe. Or, it's, it's the best way for me to set up my plan. Yeah, it's the best way. Alright then, break a leg. How do you want to prepare for your audition? I'll practice a lot. That's the best way to prepare. Or, what do you mean prepare? Who's got time for that? I'm just going to show up and audition. Because I'm all of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll, or, I'll make sure no one, nobody else auditions for the part. I won't. Um, yeah, I'll practice a lot. That makes sense, right? Every night you go over the scene you're going to read at the audition. You analyze every word. You try a dozen different readings of every line. You make notes about what kind of person the constable might be and why the constable might speak each particular word. By the day before the audition, you practically got the scene mes me mesmerized. Yes, mesmerized. So, you've so got this. <gasps> oh, snap! The day of the drama club audition auditions roll around and everyone who's trying out files into the auditorium auditorium as soon as <laughs> sorry these are all new pages uh, I, I chose being a techie last time so and I'm not up to snuff with my usual reading capabilities anyway <laughs> as soon as the last bell rings you're uncomfortably aware of how few people are there maybe this will mean you'll have an easier time getting the part you want so you're unhappily aware that Mackenzie is there. Of course, she wants to play Emily Webb, one member of a young couple who, whose love story is the central arc of the plot. Emily gets the ter big tear-jerking moment at the end when, from the afterlife, she says goodbye to the world she's living now that she's died. Goodbye to the clock's ticking, Mackenzie recites, with a little catch in her voice. And Mama Sunflowers! And food and coffee! Yeah. <laughs> yes, you have to admit, but Mackenzie is a, a good actor. A good over-actor. <laughs> Thanks, Mackenzie, says Nate, scribbling a few notes on his clipboard. Okay, Pong, you're up. He flips a few pages. You'll read the constable, and I'll read the other lines in the scene. Start when, whenever you're ready. This is it. Your big moment. What's your approach to your reading? I'll play it straight. You don't mess with the classics. Or, I'll put a little twist on the role and make my performance more memorable. Mem 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 memorable. Memorable. <laughs> memorable. That's not even a word. A word, yo. It's a little risky, but I can pull it off. Or, I'll do something completely new and exciting with my performance. It's a little, It's really risky. But Nate will be blown away by my creativity. Or, I'll look at Nate's clipboard with my clairvoyant. Maybe he's got some notes about what he likes and doesn't like. <laughs> I'll just space out right on stage and be like, oh. And Nate will be like, that's not the constable. Or, number five. I'll see if I can read Nate's thoughts. It'll be harder than looking at his notes, but I'll definitely know what he's looking for. 
Um, you know what? With Cla I, I love, I, I love plays, and I love. I, I actually studied playwriting for a little bit in college and all that, but you, you don't mess with the classics. I hate it when people like just add in their own crap and then like. It's like it's like remakes of great movies, or like those movies that were based off like old cartoons, like uh, Fat Albert or the Smurfs. And I'm sorry to my kids if they're listening to this because I know you guys love that new Smurfs movies, well the, the new Smurf movies. But it, 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 you grow up with the cartoons, and you're like no, 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 no. So no, I'm gonna play it straight. You don't mess with the classics. And even though I've been messing around a lot on this gameplay. I, I'm not gonna mess with that. You don't mess with the classics. That's bold. You play. <laughs> okay. A play like this calls for a restrained, minimalist approach. In Thornton Wilder's original version, the set was a blank s stage with a few wooden chairs. You'll take your cue from that and keep your performance just as low key. Your reading is all about subtlety. A little movement of your hand here, a slight tilt of your head there, emphasis given by pauses rather than raising your voice. Nate is reading the lines opposite of yours, and as you hold his gaze during one of the pauses, you can see the spark of excitement in his dark eyes. You can tell he likes your reading a lot. When the last person has read, Nate stands up, clipboard in hand. Thanks, everyone, he says. This li the list will be posted on the stage door at the end of the day on Tuesday. Actually, I just realized it. It was a good idea to stay, you know, pretty restrained and conservative about the reading, only because Nate likes the classics, and if, if it's somebody that likes the classics, they're not going to like somebody that really messes with them. So, next. As soon as the final bell rings on Tuesday, you dash towards the stage door, along with everyone who else auditioned for Our Town. I got it. Mackenzie squeals happily. I'm playing Emily. The, boys, the boy who's playing George, Emily's eventual husband, looks happy. You wouldn't be so happy in his shoes, having to spend that much time pretending to be in love with Mackenzie. Uh, but thankfully, you're not in his shoes. You push your way to the front of the crowd and scan the list of for your name. Ooh, drum roll. I want to see how long I can keep this going before you shut it off the video. Give it, give it a moment, give it a moment, give it a moment. Okay, I'm kidding. Let's go. What? Oh, yeah. Got a small part in the drama club. Nice. Achievement granted. And there it is. Down at the bottom, Constable Warren, Pong Sensei. You're playing the police officer. It's not a very big part, but you, you, you weren't aiming for one. You feel pretty good about the way things turned out. As you turn around, Nate's grinning face is there to greet you. Good job, Pong, he says. You could have aimed higher, you know. The audition was excellent, but I, I know you'll be great at Constable Warren. As you stand there, you realize you haven't been entirely honest with Nate about your reasons for wanting to be in the play. Are you going to tell him in room 014? Yes, he's Haley's brother and a good person, so I think I can trust him. Or, yes, he, deser he deserves to know my real motives. Or, no, I don't want to tell any more people than, than I absolutely have to. Um, yeah, we'll be honest with him. We'll tell him our motives. Hey, Nate, can I talk to you alone for a minute? Sure, Nate says, agreeable as always. You and Nate go into the drama club office. Well, it's really Mr. D'Souza's office, but he lets the drama club use it. And you close the door behind you. What is it, what is it Pong? Nate asks. Okay, here goes. Uh, and that will actually conclude this episode, and you'll have to see how this conversation goes with Nate next on Sensei Pong. Signing in. Like and subscribe.